Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to my official NIT bracket predictions. You know, this year should be a fun little year for the NIT. Some disappointments for sure. St. John's, Oklahoma, and others turning down potential NIT spots. But we do have an interesting setup. And there was a bunch of outrage about the NIT not being at Madison Square Garden I love the fact that they are going to Hinky Fieldhouse. I think it suits it way better, honestly. Madison Square Garden, that's an NBA venue. So I don't mind it at all. Uh, I do understand it might affect some teams to where it's not as an attractive, as attractive as a tournament, excuse me, if it's not at Madison Square Garden. But unfortunately, there it, I couldn't find a client that actually had to where you could pick each of the schools and they would advance. So I have to use the PDF filler because there's just no challenge. Like, where's the NIT tournament challenge? You would think that'd be something that'd be kind of cool to do because theoretically it's way easier to get a perfect bracket when it comes to the NIT. Still very hard, but because there's way less uh, t games, it's easier to get a perfect bracket. But I couldn't find a client that actually hosted, you know, a thing where you could fill it in and, and, and the team would advance. So I have to... Do it the old-fashioned way and manually fill it in, but there are four different regions. If you're not familiar with the NIT, there are only eight seeds in each region, not 16, so it's cut in half. And you can see Seton Hall against St. Joseph's. That would be the 1v8 matchup. These are normally on-campus games unless there's something weird. So Seton Hall should be hosting this game. I'm kind of glad that Seton Hall didn't make it in, honestly. I'm not a fan of their team, but I will have them advancing here excuse me I, it's kind of hard to type I'm, I'm like straddling I'm groping my microphone trying to type this but I will have Seton Hall advancing let me see if I can change this font this is just this just just a really ugly font maybe bold it all right that's good enough yeah that's good enough so Seton Hall moves on LSU against North Texas LSU sitting at 17 if I mean North Texas is 18 and 14 I'll go LSU we'll go LSU LSU hosting that game I'm going to try and move this microphone. Uh, Providence and Boston College. Providence, another team kind of on the bubble there. People thought maybe they get in, maybe they don't. They're certainly better than Boston College. I have Providence hosting that game moving on. Princeton against UNLV. Maybe a little bit of an upset here. I do like UNLV to win this game. UNLV almost made the NCAA tournament. They needed a big run in the Mountain West Conference tournament. They almost had it. This is a good UNLV team, 19-12 and 12 in a tough Mountain West. That was like a six-bid league. I think they beat the two seed, kind of an upset there, even on the road. Wake Forest, the next one seed, they'll be hosting Appalachian State. Wow, we remember Appalachian State. Everyone thought they were going to be a 13 seed, and, and you get Wake Forest. Wake Forest has amazing analytics. I think Wake Forest wins this game. Would not surprise me at all if App State pulled off an upset there. Georgia against Xavier. Georgia sitting at 17 and 16. Uh, I think probably Xavier. <laughs> this is a bad matchup. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, these teams get in because they're kind of just filler teams, but I guess it is kind of fun. Uh, moving on down, we do have Virginia Tech and Richmond. So a fun little matchup here. Give me Richmond to move on, honestly, and advance. Ohio State and Cornell. Ohio State. Very easily could be in the tournament. Jake Diebler, 6-2. and two. Guys, remember, Ohio State probably should have beaten Illinois. If they would have beaten Illinois, they'd very likely be in the first four in the tournament. Again, they're a different team. You look at the roster, they're loaded uh, with two different really nice guards. Thornton and Gale. Jamison Battle doesn't miss free throws. Zed Key, the glue guy. I will take Ohio State. To beat Cornell at home at Value City Arena, that where the, that's where that game is. Cornell, kind of, what a weird matchup. Ohio State and Cornell, who would have thought? You gotta love the NIT, though. Next, you do have Indiana State, the other one seed. We thought Indiana State was going to make the tournament. And then you had all those upsets on Saturday, which just forced Indiana State completely out of it. Retrospective looking at Indiana State, I guess you can kind of understand them being left out. They're 28 and 6, but they just don't have any good wins. Six losses is probably just too much. If they would have went 30 and 4, they would have been in. And, and, and still like like not as an auto bit, as an at-large, if they would have been 30 and 4. SMU. SMU is decent, but we gotta go with Indiana State. I mean, come on. Indiana State advances. 
Uh, next, you do have Butler taking on Minnesota. So Minnesota, <laughs> they they did have a decent Big Ten record. They won a bunch of home games, though. Butler's going to host this game, right? Yeah, because they're the four seed, you would think. I am going to have Butler winning this game and advancing on there. Next, you do have Bradley, the Braves. I like Bradley. Hosting Loyola Chicago. Loyola Chicago had a really nice second half of the year. I will take Bradley to win this game, though. Had Loyola had their time back when they made the Final Four. We'll give Bradley a chance. Cincinnati and San Francisco. Cincinnati, really nice, close to the season. Possibly the best team. I want to kind of move this over. Can we move this over, maybe? Maybe format that a little better. Cincinnati moves on. I think they beat San Francisco. San Francisco's decent, but Cincinnati hosting that game. San Francisco traveling. I like Cincinnati at home in an on-campus game. Villanova and VCU. Dude, I do not like Villanova. They're the one seed against the 18. I'm going to take VCU to win this game. Virginia Commonwealth with a crazy upset over Villanova. Villanova almost lost to DePaul. My goodness. Yeah, Villanova at 18 and 15. There's no way they could have made the tournament. Uh, UCF hosting South Florida. Well, South Florida won't have to travel very far. Central Florida versus South Florida. And rest in peace to South Florida. We thought they were going to go on a deep run. They peaked too early, but I think they're a team that can do well in terms of the NIT. And then the final first round matchup, Iowa. and This is a good matchup. Iowa and Kansas State. I like Iowa. Iowa's a good team. I thought Iowa possibly could have made the tournament. What is this thing? I thought it had like a T in it. Uh, Iowa wins there. Utah against UC Irvine. Rest in peace to UC Irvine. Why is there a T right there? But yeah, let me tell you guys. Utah is the perfect team to go on a deep NIT run. They kind of, you know, they're kind of like a feel good where everyone thought they were going to make the tournament. They peter out late. They, I think they beat UC Irvine. I know everyone's like, UC Irvine, you know, they're a good team. We thought they were going to win their conference and be a 13 seed. I get it. But I think Utah wins that game there. Moving on to the second round, Seton Hall versus LSU. I mean, how is LSU even in this tournament? I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> uh, Seton Hall is going to advance there. Providence against UNLV. I like UNLV again. UNLV is your prototypical NIT team to go on a run. They had a good finish to the season. They had a good second half. Providence is kind of like your mid, run-of-the-mill, average NIT team. It's not going to happen for them. Wake Forest and Xavier. I mean, Xavier won the last game. They're, they're literally under 500. What do you want from me? How is George? <laughs> some of these filler teams, man. I honestly could see Appalachian State in this spot. It, but I did have Wake beating Appalachian State. I might change it to Appalachian State. Nah, I'll leave it as Wake Forest, I guess. I'll, I'll leave it. Richmond versus Ohio State. What a random matchup. The Spiders taking on the Buckeyes. And guys, when it comes to a team like Ohio State and the NIT, this is another team. Prototypical. New coach. Was the interim head coach. All of the players love him. He gets hired as the head coach. They finish the season strong. They get some bad foul luck against Illinois. And that's the only reason they're left out of the tournament. And now they've got this momentum against teams like Cornell, Richmond. Yeah, Ohio State should be advancing there. You do have Indiana State taken on Butler. I'm going to go with Indiana State again. Indiana State advances. Bradley against Cincinnati. I like Cincinnati to beat Bradley. Cincinnati would also host that game as well because they're the two seed. Bradley would be a three seed. Indiana State would also host Butler there. Uh, unless there's like scheduling conflicts, sometimes the teams can't host and, and they have to actually, the higher seed has to go on the road. Uh, VCU taking on South Florida. Let's give South Florida some love, shall we? South Florida advances. Iowa and Utah, and again, I do think Utah, they're just the prototypical. Utah and Ohio State are both prototypical NIT teams that will do well. They both perform decently in their conference tournaments. They both kind of had feel-good, you know, vibes to them towards the end of the year. Although Utah kind of tailed off there, but still, I just get a, get a good feeling about Utah when it comes to the NIT. UNLV versus Seton Hall. I am going to go with UNLV to win that game as well. So a little Cinderella, UNLV, the seven seed, ends up making it. Wake Forest versus Ohio State. I am going Ohio State. The two seed makes it there. Indiana State versus Cincinnati. I'm going to go with Indiana State. The one seed makes it from that region. And then South Florida taking on Utah. 
I will be going with Utah. So we kind of have a mosh pit. We've got a two seed making it, a one seed, a two seed, and a seven seed. And then we do have Ohio State taking on UNLV. I think Ohio State will beat UNLV. You could argue they've got the most talent in this entire tournament. And then I do think Utah will defeat Indiana State, setting up Ohio State versus Utah. And I think the national champion will be Ohio State. I could see Utah. I mean, you could see a number of these teams, you know, winning this. Kind of a fun little thing. Certainly, we would wish St. John's would be in this. Some of the other teams as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just for fun. It is what it is. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.